Hi, it's really good to meet you. I wanted you to sit right next to me so we can kind of work together and I prefer to um, be a little bit on the same side as my clients rather than have them sit on the opposite side. I don't want anyone to feel like we are working against each other. So, as you may have already guessed, uh, your mother contacted me. She's uh, a little bit worried that you don't have your stuff together. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. I, uh, I know a lot of people like you and they all turn out alright. Especially once they start using our services. So, what we do is we help you build a shopping list and so I will write it all out for you and then when you go shopping, you will pick up the items and you will make the meals that we have agreed upon so no eating out. Believe me, you're not gonna miss it. Um, and definitely no ordering uh, groceries for pickup. You will be picking out all of the items, all of the produce, okay? You can't, you can't trust uh, other people to pick your produce. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you can't. Okay. So, first thing I wanted to do actually was... I'm so sorry, I should have been a little bit more prepared. Look up what package your mom signed you up for. So, we do offer a wide variety of packages. I just need to find shopping list, but we want to build independence and create long-lasting, sturdy, stable stepping stones for you to grow and nurture yourself spiritually as well as uh, physically, okay? So this is going to be the spiritual specific enough. I never got her name. No, wait, I did. I okay. Just gonna... And so, she's already paid for these services. These are just notes for me and Now, 
Alrighty. So I will be using plain paper, tearing out the sheet, handing it to you, and I would like for you to do the grocery shopping as soon as you can. Not immediately after leaving here, but I want you to look at the list and really digest it with your eyes. Okay. Alrighty. So, we have a few options as far as recipe books go. So, this one is from Purple Carrot, which, yes, is a subscription food delivery service, but you do not need that. You are going to purchase the food yourself. Okay. They have very delicious tacos here. So, as far as days of the week, I'm going to write them down. The dinner meals. You will prepare those yourself. Breakfast, I'm sure you can handle. Lunch, uh, do whatever you want. Okay. So, what do you usually eat for lunch? Mm-hmm. And do you find that's able to keep you going through the day? Okay. Well, that is something think about, and I think once you start cooking dinner, you may find a new love for food, and you might have leftovers too, so you could eat those for lunch the next day. So. Saturday, Sunday, that's optional. I find these to be quite simple. Very, very simple, simple meal. Okay. How does coconut ginger kungi? Kungi? I'm so sorry, I don't know how to say that. Uh, with crispy tofu sound? Mm hmm. Uh, kimchi grilled cheese sandwiches. Palestinian spiced peppers. Yes. Yeah. Yes, very tangy. Savory. Mm hmm. That's a good choice. Okay, so. And I will let you take these recipe books home. Your mother did purchase these ones for you, and I'll just notate which book and what page number. And so this is a note for Read off the ingredients and you tell me if you have them or not. Do you have half a cup of basmati rice? Okay. It'll be in the rice section of the store. Um, sweet peppers. So, you know what? I'm just gonna err on the safe side and guess that you need all the, all the produce. As far as the little things, um, do you 
you have a capers in your home? Capers. Okay. Dill. Everyone has dill at home. You don't have dill. Okay. Okay. Vegetable oil. Olive oil. Salt. Pepper. Okay. And you have a small saucepan. Mm, baking sheet. Excellent. Perfect. Rosemary fried cauliflower, cauliflower shawarma, tofu marsala. How do you feel about green beans? Okay. Cauliflower. Mm-hmm. Really, I. It's about texture. It can kind of take on, on the outside at least, whatever you, what do you, whatever you give it. Mojo mm-hmm. rojo black bean tacos. Yes. Okay. With Swiss chard and chard lemon. Oh, this one is delicious. This will be your Tuesday meal. Since you're already buying lemons from the previous, I'm not going to add that again. Swiss chard. Okay. Black beans. Mm-hmm. Chipotle pepper in a dobo sauce. You do have that. Okay. <laughs> That's excellent. That is... Uh, I know if a recipe calls for that, it's gonna be very delicious. Okay. Mojo rolls. You can make that, but let's go easy, okay? I love that enthusiasm. Corn tortillas. Yeah, your mother sent me a picture of the inside of your refrigerator, so it's okay. It's okay. And so we're gonna get some vegan mayo as well. You have that. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Avocado. If there is any particular item in here that you you know yourself and you know that you're not gonna like it I can find a substitute yeah and any of these your mother actually recommended that you stay away from pasta I don't know what that's about but since she paid for this service I have to honor that ginger okay you're not a big fan of ginger well i i hope that'll change with time but so here are the recipes that you will use and this is going to be the next set of easy recipes if you are feeling um, very adventurous we can we can try this one but um, I don't recommend it for people that are just starting out with uh, getting it together okay 
we, we might not look at it, but we might. <laughs> we might, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so your mom said she wants you to eat um, healthier. So, yeah. This is plants. Only kitchen. So the lettering is raised. It feels quite nice. So this is not brand new, but I am passing the torch to you. I know you're going to love cooking recipes from this one. Okay. Let's go ahead and give you a couple of easy options that I know off the top of my head. So, so I think tofu koftas will be pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. So here's the image. So it's basically tofu, pita bread, and a little like a mint salad. Yeah, it's i uh, I'm not a big fan of salad and I wouldn't push that on anyone. I wouldn't push that on you. Uh, but I will say it really, really complements this meal very, very well. Okay, so we can have that be Wednesday's, Wednesday's meal. So this one only takes 30 minutes to cook, and it's a difficulty 5 out of 10. Okay, so do you have tofu? Okay. Spring onions, scallions. Um, any, like, dried chilies? You do? Okay, perfect. Perfect mint, probably not. You want that fresh. And spices, we're talking spices now. Cumin, smoked paprika. Have you ever had smoked paprika? Okay. It is definitely paprika's <sighs> more attractive family member. Uh, flour, just regular baking flour. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, there are a few phrases that he will use in this book that are not really how we say things here. Um, for example, he says tomato puree rather than tomato paste. Do you have that? Okay, they're the same thing. Um, a few other things, it, he will say, uh, courgette instead of zucchini, and aubergine or aubergine rather than eggplant. And what is it? Because he's in UK, so they don't say cilantro, they say coriander. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alrighty. So, vegan yogurt. Okay. And regular paprika, cucumber. Lemon, we already have that. Here, more mint and pita bread. Yeah, I noticed they also pronounce it pita. I honestly don't know what is more proper. Okay. This one. 
This lasagna is very good, but once again, um, no pasta for you. Chinese curry. Are you a fan of curry? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, is this Thursday? Thursday. Let's see. Thursday's meal. So, this one does have a uh, jackfruit in it. I know some people love jackfruit. I'm honestly a little tired of it. Um, and also if it's just not something that's easily found near you, um, we can substitute. What do you think of that? Okay, so we're gonna sub. And so we can sub out for Satan or Tofu. Okay, just more Tofu. Okay, not a problem at all. And a tip that I have for you when it comes to Tofu is as soon as you buy it, drain it. Take all the water out and Cut it into into slabs about half inch thick is what I do and put it in a freezer bag put it in the freezer for two three days and then move it back into the fridge or defrost you know the day that you're going to cook it and what this does is it creates that um, texture it becomes more firm, so it's not this bland, blah, spongy thing. It uh, has more character, and it is more... You see what I'm doing with my hands? It's more that. And um, because of when it was frozen, the water expands it, the holes within the tofu. And then it, it gets smaller and it's much easier to press out all of the water once you've done the freeze and then defrost you can pretty much just squeeze and it, it stays intact and and the water comes out so it makes cooking way easier it tastes way better um, a really big, big problem that people have cooking with tofu is they do not remove all of the water. It is extremely important that you get as much water out of there as possible. I, yes, I once had a cooking class where I watched a woman uh, microwave tofu in the water and just chop it up and I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay. So let's see. White onions. Okay. Garlic. Garlic, of course. That's over there. So just two more. Alright. Ginger. It really complements the meal, but if you don't like ginger, we can omit. And maybe just add a little a few more garlics if you'd like uh, Chinese five spice you do have that okay curry powder you have that excellent okay bell pepper all right 
vegetable stock and lemongrass paste of course you can always make your own but since we're just getting started miso paste you have some okay good 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 so we have thursday and i think we are going to find fridays and call it there you are free to eat out saturday and sunday <laughs> although you are not going to want to mm-hmm So, schnitzels with herb and caper sauce. We can do that one. You know what? This one, it's it's fried in oil, so maybe not that one. It's okay to be bad sometimes, but let's try being good for for a week. Five spice mushroom spring rolls. Does that sound good? No? I'm uh, not a fan of mushrooms. Okay. What about cabbage? You can do cabbage. I promise the flavors of the sauce will be so overpowering and delicious that you won't even notice. And as far as mushrooms, as far as mushrooms, I don't suggest washing them. Just maybe even take a paper towel and just dust off any uh, dirt that you see. When you wash them with water, they can become waterlogged and when you cook, it is just a really nasty mush and that's not something that you want so please don't wash them just and especially if they are gourmet mushrooms chances are they are not grown like outside they are harvested and grown in a um like in a room or, or an area. Mm -hmm. Okay, a farmer's market. Perfect, perfect. Yes, I would highly recommend uh, that as far as... As far as which one? If we're talking gourmet mushrooms, um, personally, I really like Pink oysters. King oysters are good too. Mm. I have had chanterelles. Uh huh. They were found in the mountains in Colorado. It was oof, oof, super delicious, super delicious. Okay. Okay, so Friday's meal. Do you have spring roll wrappers? Okay. Flour, you already have that. So those mushrooms, you'll just have to wait until that farmer's market opens. Yeah, I, um, 
I really don't recommend eating portobello mushrooms. I think life is too short to do that. Um, red onion. Okay. Rice wine vinegar. You have that good. Good corn flour, which is cornstarch. Okay. Alright, soy sauce. Do you have water? <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you have water though? You do? Okay, good. Sesame seeds. He says to use black sesame seeds, but I find within this area that's kind of hard to find, so any any seeds will do, any sesame seeds, whatever you can get your hands on, that is not really going to make much of a difference, and hoisin sauce, you have that, okay, alrighty, wonderful, so that is our time, Tell your mother I said hi and that her child is an absolute doll and you're gonna be just fine. So here is your shopping list. If you need to give me a call, tell your mother to call me and I will talk to her. Okay. Okay, great. So, here are your meals. And, um, I can't wait to see you again so you can tell me how all the meals went. Okay? Okay. Alright. Bye-bye.